The shooting dead of a man in Finglas in North Dublin at the weekend is the first killing in an escalating gang feud in the suburb with guards now concerned more fatal attacks will follow. The victim of Sunday morning shooting was a local man who goes by the name of James Whelan who was in his 20s who was gunned down on Deanstown Avenue just before half four in the morning on Sunday. In the early hours of Sunday morning and in an apparent revenge attack for the early shooting a petrol bomb was thrown at a property on the Deanstown estate. Mr Whelan was apparently spotted nearby by members of the rival gang and pursued onto Deanstown Avenue and shot dead by his rivals. Guards suspected he was killed because his rivals believed he had just carried out the attack or had orchestrated it. The main suspects for the killings are a local drugs gang led by a fingers man in his 20s who has emerged as a senior gangland figure in recent years. That man is now believed to be the prime target for the specialist guard units working to combat organised crime. He was at odds with Mr Whelan as he was suspected of stealing three high value watches from members of a rival gang earlier this year. A large area outside houses on Deanstown Avenue was sealed off throughout Sunday. Guards with sniffer dogs were searching along Deanstown Drive and a number of follow up searches were carried out at houses in Finglas on Sunday. The emergency services were alerted to the shooting just before half four in the morning. However, bystanders and then paramedics tried to assist Mr Whelan but he was pronounced dead at the scene. So just want to say rest in peace Mr Whelan and my condolences go out to your family. The body was removed from the scene and a post-mortem examination was carried out by a chief state pathologist Dr Linda Mulligan at the city morgue. Mr Whelan was well known to the guards for his involvement in the drug trade in the Finglas area from the time he was a teenager. While he was still in his teens guards seized almost €30,000 cash from him and at the time he was thought he had over 50 convictions. Recent years, Mr. Whelan and his associates had become embroiled in a localised feud between rival gangs from the Finglas area, which had escalated significantly in recent months. Three weeks ago, in response to the worsening violence, guards moved in and searched nine houses in Finglas. In an unusual move, some of the properties were boarded up and Dublin City Council took possession of them as guards believed they were being used as bases by local criminals. The operation last month followed beatings and a number of serious attacks on houses across Finglas, including several shootings and a grenade attack. In some of the attacks, the houses of innocent families were mistakenly hit. Recent violence, including a gang abducting a man in the middle of a Finglas housing estate, had been recorded by the perpetrators and footage circulated to taunt rival gang members. Guards believe the violence has been stalked by the fact those involved are members of a rival drugs gang, but that some of the younger teenagers involved have engaged in the violence for recreational reasons. So guys, that's the news coming in from Ireland over the weekend, where a young man has been shot dead, who goes by the name of James Whedon. Rest in peace, James, and my condolences go out to your family. It's your boy GT, keep it locked, keep it real. With regards to the Securitas Depot Heist, if you can go check that out, I'll put the link in the description below for that video, and please support the channel.